it's Kino. When you're starting the practice of yoga, one thing that's really useful to know is how to safely externally and internally rotate your hip joints so you can really feel what's going on deep inside of the pelvis. So the first thing that would be really helpful for you to locate is your trochanter. Now, I'm sorry I don't have a skeleton, but if you, you have one at home, I hope, a skeleton inside of your body, not in your closet. So we have the thigh bone, and the way that the thigh bone is shaped is that on the outside of it, we have the trochanter. And that's gonna be a little knob on the outside. You're not gonna be able to touch the head of the thigh bone because that's inside of the pelvis. So you wanna find the trochanter. Now, if you know where that is, it's right on the side of the pelvis, so you can feel, you know, kind of a sharp, not a sharp, but like a bone on the side of the pelvis, which is different than the soft tissue of your quadriceps and your thigh muscle. So you wanna feel the trochanter. If you can't feel the trochanter, just by finding it, and it's right about on level with the pubic bone, you can find the trochanter. If you couldn't find that, you can lie on your side, and then you'll feel, especially if you're on the floor, not on a comfortable mat, you can feel the trochanter. Now, if you wanna externally rotate your hip joint, you wanna drop the trochanter out to the side. So you're dropping the trochanter while keeping the pubic bone pointing forward. And that's gonna give you the sense of external rotation in the hip joint. Bringing it back into the center will take your hip into parallel position. In order to internally rotate the hip joint, we would need to move the head of the femur in to the, into the socket, so we're moving the hip joint into the socket, turning inward while the foot lifts. Now you wanna be careful if you do that um, to protect your knee, but in the yoga practice, we're mostly dealing with that external movement where the trochanter drops back and down while the pelvis stays straight ahead. I'll show you what that looks like when you're seated. So come into a comfortable cross-legged position, you'll notice the knees point out to the side. That's a really good indication that the trochanters have dropped. If you start off with your legs in parallel position and you bring the knees to the side, that's really good, again, evidence that trochanters have dropped. You won't be able to feel them, you'll just be able to feel a nice cushiony sensation around the thighs and around the butt muscles. If you bring your legs back to the center, you can feel the trochanter. So if you wanna even just play around with that a little bit, you can feel the potential for external rotation. Once you have that information, you can apply it to anything you know that involves external rotation, like getting into Padmasana position. Or if you're looking at internal rotation, we can move the knee inward, the, the, the foot out to the side, and feel the trochanter again, and the head of the thigh bone moving deeper into the pelvis. So those are some really good anatomical pointers to help you locate and feel your hip joint, especially if you're new to yoga, that's a really important awareness to build, feeling the depth inside of the pelvis and feeling the depth of the hip joints and the hip bones and feeling the trochanters and their ability to drop back and down to externally rotate and move in the hip joint itself to deepen to create that internal rotation.